Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will examine some of the more advanced options in Avada form elements. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. I have an Avada form here, and I have a few form elements already added. Let's have a look at some of the more advanced options possible here. The first one here is a text field element, and this element has the bulk of the advanced options. Let's start with one that's not actually that advanced at all, but is often overlooked and can be very handy. This is the empty input notice option. By default, on all required form field elements that accept input, if you try to submit the form without filling in the field, you get a pop-up upon submission that says please fill out this field. So what the empty input notice option does is replace that text with your own custom text. On the form, only one notice ever shows, and that's always on the first field that needs to be filled out correctly. So you can have this option filled out on multiple fields, but only when they are the first field that's incorrect will it show. Next, let's look at field value. Basically, this offers you an option to have some value already filled out in the form field. This is perhaps most useful in combination with a disabled field or dynamic data. You'll find this in the text, email, and hidden field elements. You might use it to fill in some dynamic data that you want with the form, like the day's date, or the username of the person submitting, etc. Or you might have links to the same form from two different pages of your site, and you have a different sales funnel on each of these pages. So by using the request parameter setting in the dynamic data options, your form can now know from which sales funnel the user has arrived. The next option is disabled field, and this is found in the text element and text area field. This option reflects the HTML specification standard, rendering the form field as disabled and not focusable, and data won't be part of the form submission. You could use this in many ways. For example, you might want to show a user a certain value that is fixed. So suppose you have four checkboxes, each with a label of one or two words to keep them short and neatly aligned. Then based on the selection, you could display a disabled field right below that that contains more text explaining the choice. Allowed input pattern is only found in the text field element and is there to force users to only input data in the way the site owner wants it. You can choose from one of the six predefined patterns, or if you choose custom, a new field called custom appears where you can add your own. For pattern examples, you can check out the website in the description. And here, as you can see, there is a range of different patterns for names, passwords, certain credit cards, postcodes from various countries, and more. OK, coming back, there is also a custom pattern option in the emailed and phone number field elements, which can be used in exactly the same way. In the email address and password field elements, you can find an option called input must match. It allows you to have a confirm email or confirm password field where users must input their email or password a second time to confirm, and the content of this field must match the original field. Tab indexes on almost all form elements and with this you can control the tab order, which is going from one field to the next with the tab key on your keyboard. You usually won't need this as documents have their own tab order, but you can manipulate it with this value. The default is a value of zero, which keeps an element in its normal document order, and would receive focus only after all elements with a positive number. Minus one will ensure the element never receives focus when using the tab key. OK, this concludes our video on advanced options in Avada form elements. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.